What is up guys, my name is Boba Talks and welcome to my Gotham Season 4 off-season Q&A video. Uh, so recently I asked you on the community section of my YouTube channel uh, to send me in some questions that you want me to answer on Gotham Season 4. And it's kind of a video that is quite cool to do anyway since, you know, we're on the off-season um, and that means that we haven't got any Gotham till spring. And I don't know if all of you are aware of that, I keep seeing comments pop up more and more. People are like, oh my god, spring unfortunately yes we do have to wait that long but don't worry uh, I've got your back in terms of Gotham videos so if you need your fix be sure to pop by the channel regularly I can only do so many questions because I think I've got around nearly a hundred comments or maybe even questions on this section of the community uh, tab on my channel so I'm just going to choose a few questions uh, and maybe we can continue this in another video and if you want me to do that let me know down in the comments and also if you guys aren't aware of the community tab I just want to go over that very quickly uh, YouTube have recently implemented a new sort of news feed if you will into YouTube that us creators can post uh, to you guys whether they're polls or just photos or even posts like I did just you know I don't know I really like it it's uh, engaging the audience with uh, the creator a lot more so that is what I've done and if you don't know what that's about go to my YouTube page uh, and then you can see at the top you've got home you've got videos playlists and then you'll see community and have a scroll through there and keep an eye out for any future posts that I might do so Vova Dosimov Dosimov asks when will we see Bruce's fear of bats now uh, I'm going to try my best to not give these long-winded answers which I always do uh, but in terms of Bruce's fear of bats and when will we see it in Gotham is I don't really know. Uh, since they've already done Bruce going out in vigilante armor, you you would have thought when Bruce in this version of the universe, you know, this version of Batman, which Gotham, you know, the Gotham TV show, uh, you know, he will ha already have a symbol, right? So if he gets his fear of bats, let's say this season, then surely since he's already going out as a vigilante, he might already think of, oh, I'm going to now make my suit, uh, you know, into a bat symbol. And, you know, you get it from there. So... I don't know if they're going to do the bat thing anytime soon because that is the reason why I'm worried. For that very reason, they've kind of done it back to front. Normally, Bruce might, well, it's not in every story, you know, gets the symbol and then he applies that symbol to his armor. But who knows? Maybe we might get bats and they might think of a creative way to, you know, steal for Bruce to not add it to his vigilante armor. But at the same time, I, that's where I think it's a bit tricky. Gotham do things like this where they kind of double cross themselves over and they're like, oh God, they make it kind of hard for the future thing to happen. A good example of this is, you know, Jerome, if he's gonna be the Joker, then yet yeah, he's already called Jerome, he's got fingerprints, everyone knows who he is. So the element of mystery in this universe for the Joker isn't such an element of mystery. It's more like Jack Nicholson's Joker being Jack Napier or Napier, whatever you want to say that. So same thing with the bat situation. Is he going to get the bat fear thing? I definitely think he should. But then at the same time, since he's going out and protecting Gotham now, which he will, he will again soon. Why would why wouldn't he just you know adopt the Batman persona if he's got the fear of bats? I don't know. Justice League and Jim Gamer both ask: Is Gotham getting renewed after season four? Or is Gotham getting cancelled? Or is Gotham getting a season five? I did a video on that on my last video, so I believe two days ago or yesterday, I can't remember, uh, answering that very question. So go check that out. I'll leave that in the end card of this video. Kareem Blaze asks me: Do you think they will turn Jerome's hair green? If so, when? P.S. Love your content, <laughs> little bobe. Uh, thank you very much, Kareem. Uh, do I think Jerome, uh, Jerome's hair will turn green? I honestly don't know. You would have thought since this is abundantly meant to be the joke in this universe, he will eventually get to that. And the whole Jerome is Jerome thing is that, yes, he's just Jerome now, uh, but he will become the Joker one day. So, yeah, I think that is very much so a future thing. Uh, he might just dye his hair green. He might adopt the whole clown thing a bit further. But at the minute, kind of no. I don't think the Ace Chemical Bat thing is at all relevant in this universe. I think Jerome definitely is more of a Heath Ledger Joker. So... Whether you argue Heath Ledger's Joker is a war vet or something like that, it doesn't matter. The underlying factor is he's just a guy who's kind of gone a bit crazy. Uh, same with Jerome, he's just a human being, a guy who's gone a bit crazy. But both of those characters don't need the chemical vat because their transformation happened through something else. Don't get me wrong, I love the whole... Uh, chemical vat turns normal nice guy comedian whoever you want to take it as beforehand into a crazy lunatic with no explanation no mystery or anything like that but Gotham as I said in my first question I answered is they've kind of done things that mean 
uh, they can't necessarily do the things that are traditional. For example, the Ace Chemicals thing, they could do it. But my point being is it's really not needed. And if they did do it, all it would serve is to give him green hair since he's already got quite pale skin on his face. So that's all up in the air. But I definitely think, you know, just like Heath Ledger's Joker, his hair could turn green because he wants it to. So Malachi Washington asks, why do you hate the Alfred Bruce Wayne story so much? What's wrong with it? I don't hate it. I've never said I hate it. I don't think. I really don't think I have anyway. Um, so if you're referring to my distaste of it as of late, I've actually always been one to defend this storyline, saying it's actually, um, I get it. You know, Bruce has been through a lot, blah, 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 blah. I think that's justified. In fact, maybe you mean so many other people hate it. So many other people are so tired of it. Um, but I think it should be over around about now for example i didn't expect the last episode to continue on with this storyline of bruce and alfred uh, at each other's necks um, and especially with the last one alfred being fired uh, so i don't hate it but i think if it doesn't wrap up in the next episode and i honestly think two more episodes is a stretch then uh i wouldn't say I hate it but it really really does need to stop I think it definitely serves a purpose, so there's nothing particularly wrong with it, but if there is anything wrong with it, it's just that it's dragging on quite a bit. Um, and and the, th the fact that a lot of people feel this way as well makes me feel like I'm not alone in that. So Caleb E. Martinez asks, do you think we'll ever see the Flying Graysons again? Um... Not necessarily, but maybe. Things like this can always be done, and, and you have to understand as well, with whether you're making a movie or a TV show, uh, directors or even the showrunners, whoever may, whoever it is, love adding little Easter eggs like this in. So I think what we got before in Season 1, if I remember, with the, uh, with the Flying Graysons, that it w probably would be the best we get. Uh, I even get questions as far as are we going to see like a mini Dick Grayson and people like that. No to that. The best, if like seriously, the best we get is like seeing a three-year-old who standing next to, you know, his parents and stuff like that. But I don't think so. Maybe we might get a billboard or something like that. It's really touch and go. But with things like that, as I said, Easter eggs at most, but never ever a proper role because that is just too premature. Like, but never anything like that. I just think, you know, it, this this show isn't about that stuff yet. It would be cool maybe if we got 10, 11 seasons. I could see that happening, but I don't think that's going to happen. Boss Batman says, how can I survive till spring? By watching my videos. I'm scrolling through the comments again. Uh, Dilo Syraptor says, the biggest question of all, will Gotham be renewed? As I said again, guys, and for all of you who are watching right now, I did do a, will Gotham get renewed? What's my personal opinion? Does Disney hurt Gotham? Go check that video out because I see a lot of you asking that question. And this is why I made that video um, again this year. Even though, obviously, it's kind of too early to tell because we're only like in the mid-season. There's still a lot to talk about, so go check out that video. DK Pineapples uh, asks, how many seasons do you think Gotham will go up to? If you had to guess. So if I had to guess, I think it could go to six tops. The reason why I say that is because the ratings aren't through the roof ever. However, it does have an amazing fan base. And I still think we, you know, gotta, we've got a good chance of getting a season five. Um... But I don't think it's not Gotham, unfortunately, and with everything like that, isn't got to go nine seasons or stuff like that. I think if you say Gotham's got to go 10 seasons, you really don't know what you're talking about. And that's with men, all due respect, man. It's just this show, this show isn't going to go 10 seasons. Like, it, Can you seriously say that? For example, Arrow isn't even going to go 10 seasons. The Flash will seriously probably not go 10 seasons. So Gotham... Uh, you know, being quite one of the weakest shows in terms of, you know, viewers, it's just not going to go, you know, several plus. So I think at the very, very best case scenario, we'll get six, but I still think season five could be its last. But honestly, as I always say, if, if a miracle happens and we've got several plus seasons, then I will eat a shoe. Amazing Stuntman asks, how long do you think the Jerome and Penguin arc will be? Now, this is a very good question. Um... I'm not sure. I got a guess that it could be a couple of things. I think Jerome might be around in a couple of episodes then might come back more towards the back half. I personally would like that a lot. What we do know is that Jerome's, uh, whatever happens in this storyline or this arc, as you would say, it's going to ripple. It's going to cause massive effects, ripple effects in season five, which is very exciting. Uh, so is it going to be three episodes again like it usually is the past couple of seasons? Probably. 
But who knows? It might be like one or two. They might escape Arkham and then it might pick up with Jerome again around episode 19 or 20. But I haven't recently looked into, you know, the whole Cameron Monaghan on set thing. Who knows? I hope it's more than three. I wouldn't want several. Uh, I really don't think it's going to be several either. Um, but who knows? It's a good question. But I would bank on three, around three episodes. And if we get any more, then that would be cool. It would be cool if he came back again right towards the end of the season so judging by the fact that they want to do a huge cliffhanger if he if he is involved in that then yeah count on him coming back for around the finale time but at the same time this cliffhanger might not have much to do with him but it'd be really cool if it did and everyone loves jerome they want to get another season so if they bring it back in the finale or around then again that would be really cool so Mark Lennon asks, how long do you think it will be before Sophia is taken down by Jim or Penguin? Um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping around no way near, no way near the finale because I really don't want her storyline to go on that long. I like Crystal Reed and all that, but I don't think I want to watch this till the very finale. So I'm, I'm hoping around episode 14, 15, somewhere like that, she might be either killed off, she might be arrested, uh, who knows? Uh... I don't know if she'll be killed off only because of Fal she might be like one of the only, if not the only Falcons, uh, Falcon left. Uh, who knows if he has any other mystery children, but I doubt it in this world. Uh, who knows her death, if she does die, might not be a thing that sticks. If that happens, that will annoy me because uh, as much as Gotham preached that, it is its biggest weakness in the show because it makes deaths meaningless. Uh, it works a couple of times for some things, but it really is anticlimactic when you bring it back and then you bring it back and you bring it back. So I think maybe around episode 14 or 15, Sophia might finally go away. Ben H asks, uh, where is Scarecrow and will Professor Pig ever return to the show? And I've seen a couple of other comments saying, is Professor Pig dead? Uh, so as for Scarecrow, he's just somewhere in Gotham, like in the wind. He could come back with this whole Jerome and Penguin story arc. Uh, that would be really cool to see because I think he would actually work really well in this villains team up that is going to happen. As for, like, if he came back by himself, I don't think that would happen because I don't think he's had enough time to evolve his fear toxin. If that did happen, it would just be a bit, like, rushed. Uh, so maybe they could, you know, use his fear and, you know, the Joker together, you know, or Jerome with Penguin. That would be really, you know, fear, chaos and everything like that. That would be cool. But I really couldn't proper defend that or say that's going to happen because they might just put scarecrow on the back shelf you could always make a comic book logic up as to where he is just camping out somewhere being unhinged evolving his scarecrow persona trying to think of the next thing he can do to put fear into gotham so who knows he could come back they there's no reason why they couldn't bring him back but it would have to be in a cool way i don't think he could hold his own episode again not anytime soon at least now as for professor pig Will like he ever return to the show? Not this season, definitely not this season. If that happened, then I'll be majorly impressed. But Michael Cerberus has had several episodes, so I think that is kind of his his lot in this season. But is he dead? No, I 100% believe that he isn't dead. Uh, he's got such a future ahead of him, that character. I don't think any anyone else is going to pick up the Professor Pig uh, mantle. They already said who his name is. I don't think there's going to be any BS with, oh, that wasn't actually Laszlo Valentine. Uh, Valentine. Um, so I don't think that's going to be the case. I think what will be the case is his facial reconstruction with the titanium plates. Um, he might wake up somewhere. Having survived the bullet from Jim, um, he might have been faking it. But no, I really don't think he's dead. This is what Gotham are kind of notorious for. That even if it isn't a real death, he, you know, it was a fake death and he actually does come back. But no, 100%, 100% believe Professor Pig is still going to be a thing. Uh, but as if we will ever see him again, I don't know. I really, uh, maybe not. But at the same time, because we've already had a big arc with him this season. If we get season five, he could appear for an episode or two. But yeah, they're both out there somewhere. As for Professor Pig, that's more complicated. But I definitely don't believe he's dead. But as for Scarecrow, I've already answered that. He's out there somewhere. Fletcher Riordan asks, uh, why do you think Harvey has a gun to Jim? Now, if you remember in that trailer for the back half of season four we got uh, we see that jim is standing there harvey is there with a gun to him there's a lot of barrels in the background i think harvey's just got a gun to him for more or less the simple reason of jim is pretty much controlled by sophia falcone at the minute she has risen up she has taken uh, oswald's place she is a falcone she's extremely powerful jim is pretty powerless with the way things got left 
you know, he basically bowed down to Sophia. She, you know, told him not to call it in and he didn't. And I think he's going to be forced to do things that he literally can't avoid unless he wants things to go. Very... He's basically backed into a corner. And I think Harvey's going to catch up to with whatever he's doing in that episode and be like, you know, oh, partner, look at look how the mighty have fallen. Even though we know Jim is good, he's going to be having no choice. So it's going to look bad to Harvey and it technically is bad. But I can imagine it's going to explain it out. And then they're going to work together to take down Sophia. Harvey will be back. So I think it's going to be something like that. Not majorly predictable. But, you know, I think, you know, the whole gun thing to Jim is just mainly about Jim doing something bad for Sophia or overlooking something. I don't know. But those are all the questions I have time to answer in this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like on this video as it really does show you support for the channel. And if you want me to do another video like this again, um fairly soon or maybe after christmas let me know in the comment section down below and if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video then maybe even consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything gotham related if you want to stay a little bit more up to date with me you can do so by following me on social media the link should be popping up on the screen around here or in the description below you can click on the link there but apart from that guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye